<laughs> Look at them. I love it. Like a hamster in a wheel. That is fantastic. Hello, guys, and welcome to a game I've been really anticipating for a long time, Oxygen Not Included. It's a space sci-fi simulation coli uh, colony city builder type game brought to you by the same people that uh, made the game Don't Starve, Clay Entertainment. And we have got hold of the alpha version, which I'm very excited to show you guys. I will just mention before we start, it is in alpha. Um, there may be bugs. You know how it works with alpha games. I've played through it a bit and it's working really, really well. I remember when Don't Starve first came out um, and there was barely any bugs in it. I didn't come across any. They just kept adding more and more stuff to it. So looking really forward to getting into this. So we're going to start a new game. Here we go. It's generating the world. Superheating gases. Vacuuming the vacuums. <laughs> All sorts of other things I can't read quick enough. Space adventure await. So we are going to start off with three replicants. Look at them. They've all got their own personality. Dancing, <laughs> breathing, thrusting. I don't know what this one in the middle here is doing. And they've got skills as well. So we can shuffle our crew. We can rename them. I quite like Cecil, Elvis and Blanche. <laughs> That's fantastic. So they have these skills. These can be built up as the game moves along. But they can have... Wow, plus five in digging, plus eight in learning, minus five. If there's any with a minus, I mean, that's a level. I'm going to shuffle them. Ooh, plus seven construction, cooking, digging, and medicine. Now, that sounds quite good. We've got nobody with athletics. That's fine. Construction, nobody with creativity. That's artisty stuff. But everything else we've got covered, haven't we? So, oh, tinkering's the only other one. Operating machines. Yeah, I think we'll go with this. So they have different expectations, stress responsive, destructive. Vomiting I can deal with, you can clear it up. Destructive, hmm. Irritable bowel, <laughs> bottomless stomach, gastrophobia. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. Let's name our colony the Bifolony. <laughs> Why not? The Bifolony. Let's make it a word that I'm going to struggle to say. Oh, it's, she's called Mystique now. She's got mole hands. So they're good at digging. Tunneling. Well, let's, let's jump straight in. The Bifolony. Oh, man, I'm going to struggle to say that. Let's go with it. Cecil, Elvis, and Mystique. Let's embark and jump in. And here we go. This is the world that we're going to be playing in. So, alert! Your crew has awoken miles underground in the dark depths of space. They have no recollection of how they got here. It might be best to start digging. Ah, look, he's cracked his helmet. Oh my goodness me. So here we go. We're going to pause the game here and we are going to just take a few minutes to look around. So this is the underground that we inhabit. There's lots of places to dig and build and all sorts of stuff going on. What are these things here? Oxygen. Oh, there's pockets of oxygen down there. What's this? Oh, that's water. This is all water. This is all oxygen, which is good. Carbon dioxide. So it's called oxygen is not included. Um, you need to balance a lot of things in this game. So we've got a little bit of RimWorld job stuff going on here. You sort of recognise that. There's things you can build. Let's just quickly flick through the menu, show you all sorts of things. There's machines. Oh, we haven't got utilities yet. Toilets. Medicine. Yep, lots of things going on here. And there's the um, tasks that you can get them to do. You can set different priorities for different things. First of all, it says... What's that there? I don't know what that one is there. Millwood seed. Oh, okay. They'll collect those. So first of all, we want to get these guys to build a toilet. It's something they're going to need in the base. Let's have a look. Colony... Oh, okay. Basic controls. Let's just pause the game and have a look. Yep. WASD. H brings you back to here. Tab changes the speed. Space will pause. Yep, yeah, I've seen that one. And then colony management. These guys are your duplicants. They are self-directed workers. So basically, you tell them what to do. A bit like Banished, Rimworld. You set the task. They will run off and do it. G is the dig tool. There we go. It's changed to a little spade. So we can drag to dig. We can cancel that as well, I believe. Oh, can we cancel that? Yes, we can. There we go. So that's fine. And we've got the, the task we can do down here. So we can select it from there if we want to. So they require toilets. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just select the digging tool. Get them just to dig out a bit. They can only reach so high as well. They can only reach too high. And they are too tall. There we go. We have options. Base. Where is the toilet? Plumbing. Outhouse. So we want to put a little outhouse here for these guys to relieve themselves. Man, there's tons of water down there. 
We also have the overlays that we can uh, open up as well. Let's close that down. If we press F1. So there we go. We get like a, Let's pause again. We can look at the oxygen overlay. This is F1. Has brought up this one up here. Displays ambient oxygen density. So we have lots of oxygen in there. If we open any of this up, this unbreathable carbon dioxide will actually come in here. So we've got to be careful. We could dig out this way. And we can dig out this way a bit. There's water down there. Okay. Other overlays. Power grid. We've got no power at the moment. Temperature. Everything's temperament. Tem yeah. Temperate, I mean. Not temperament. Temper but obviously as we get further away, we don't know what's coming up out there. It'll be interesting to see. Uh, light. We've got light. Plumbing. We don't have any of that yet. Oh, what's this? Input, output. Plumbing stuff. Sounds interesting. Gas plumbing overlay. Oh, wow. There's lots of stuff going on here. You're probably pausing and reading all this thing. Uh, priority. That's fine. We can change the priority of stuff. Basically, they're going to need dirt to put in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these guys here. To just dig out this way. Um, because they can. Let's start digging out a room that they can inhabit. So there we go. They get stuck straight in. They've got these little sucky vacuum laser tool things. And it gets put in this box. So that's going to have everything inside it. I think, actually, this might only ho hold food. Stores food. Yes. We can build a storage compactor. So if we click on there, it tells us what we need. Sandstone. 400 sandstone. And it tells you when we've actually got some stone and stuff, what else we can... I'm going to put that there. If we look up here, more mineral. Sandstone, we have... 10,800 kilograms. So what was this one going to take? 400. I don't know whether that relates to that or not. Oh, we can set what it's going to hold. So we're going to put everything in there. So you can have high items that would just be swept. Things that would just mark for sweeping or everything. So rather than have like this sandstone and copper ore and stuff all over the floor, we're going to stick it in there. So... I like the music in this game as well. That's really cool. Now, what are these things up here? So, calories available, 20,000 calories. Highest stress, 1%. Cecil is looking slightly stressed. Let's let's see. Cecil, what are you stressed about? Because you have dirty hands, probably. Is that what it is? Thermal conductivity, 1. Ah, the decor level. Okay, yeah. So, there's lots of other things going on here we've got to work on. Population, 3. And then eventually this will pop out. There we go. After that many seconds, whatever that... <laughs> Next production, 2.2 cycles. There we go. So a couple of days to go. Duplicate movement. Ah, oh, okay. This is worth reading. So they must have accessible paths to the places they want to do their job. So we know about that. They can climb obstacles two tiles high. Let's leave that going because they're still digging and stuff. Uh, bah, 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 and they're two tiles tall. If you want to see where they can and can't get to, you click on one, show navigation. There we go. So that white line will go everywhere around the base. Let's hide that. So just in case you sort of dug down and made an area that you couldn't get to, it would show you that. Man, there's loads of stuff. What's this down here? More oxygen. That's all oxygen. That's water. There's copper. We've got algae. More copper. This is oxalite. Consumable ore. It says it's emitting oxygen. But it says zero after it. So I'm not sure whether it's this that's causing... Oh, it is. Look. Oxygen is bubbling out. Uh, okay. Right. What else can we build? Um, storage compactors. We've got those. We don't need anything to make oxygen at the moment. We're fine. We don't need power. We need a food source. So a microbe musher produces low quality food using common ingredients, dupe... Uh, duplicates will not fabricate unless recipes are queued. Does it need power? It does. Look, it's got a little socket on it for power. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to get these guys to dig out. Up to there. No! Stop! Look at that. What's this here? Vacuum. Vacuum. So that is going to suck our oxygen and then make this quite thin, isn't it? Um, let's, what's, what's the key for council? C. Let's council that. Yeah, there we go. And get them to do this section here. And then maybe we can set up some electrical stuff down here. See how that works. I'm not entirely sure 
see, now we've opened this up more, whether this... Hmm, let's just F... Let's get rid of that. F1. So that's carbon dioxide. So that's probably just some of these guys breathing, isn't it? I think that's how it works. I don't know what that bit there is. Maybe from the toilet or something? So whether this is going to balance out... I mean, this is producing oxygen. So I think over time it will balance out in an area that you dig out. But this is all saying it's... That says barely breathable. We can sort of see this moving over, can't we? I think that's how it works. It spreads. And this is... Yeah, okay, that's good. Is that fill, filled up with stuff? 20,000 out of 20,000 it is. Okay, we need to get another storage thing. Let's put another one of these down there. Get building! We have enough sandstone. Yep. So let's put some electrical stuff over here. We need power... So we have a manual generator. Power source that must be manually operated. Building meltdown? What? From a lack of foundation? Huh? These are only built on sandstone. Oh, fertilizer. What does that mean? Let's just pause this and have a look a, a sec. Stores the resources. Maybe let's put it there. Is that because it's only got one under it instead of two? Maybe that's what it is. Okay, let's put everything in there. And they'll suck all that up. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we need microbe musher. We need some power. Let's put in a manual generator. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. I'm going to put that right in the corner. That is going to take copper ore, which we have plenty of. So let's get that built. Oh, man, this is going to be huge, this bit. Oh, look at the water there. It's actually acting like a... Like a waterfall. But this will be a nice area to build in. We've got ladders that we can build as well. So it may be that we sort of dig this bit out and put ladders down here. That one's full up. Yeah, it definitely is, isn't it? Uh, what's it got in there? Copper wall, sand, sand stuff. I don't know whether you could... Yeah, you can set these to have different objects that you require to go in them. That sort of made sense in my brain. Okay, here we go. No wire connected. Generator idle. Battery threshold. Okay, let's put a battery next to it. Yep. Got enough to build that. So the battery will, let's read this on here, stores a bit of runoff power from generators but loses charge over time. It isn't very effective to let half your energy seep into the cosmos. Fight that entropy. Manually operated. Okay. Oh, it's like a wheel. It's like a hamster wheel to make power. And then we should be able to make this microbe musher. Uh, I'm going to leave a space in between. Let's build that one. And we're going to need some electrical wire, aren't we? So, connect buildings to power. Is that how that works? I don't know whether that's it, or are they going to come over and connect that up? Looks like they are. Yes, they are. Excellent. Is that going into there? That he's coming back again with a bit more, perhaps? Yep. There we go. Nice. So that was the in. The wire from there to there. Okay, let's connect there to there. I'm not sure whether I've already done that. They're getting hungry. Oh, tip, fetching water. Duplicants will seek out and collect water and other liquids up to two tiles away and deliver it to buildings. Okay, this is going to need water, isn't it? No fabrication cube, no power. Do we not have any copper ore? We do. Oh, they've all gone to sleep. It's the end of the day. Let's look at our cycle one report. So we've generated... Oh, we've lost oxygen. Okay, we need to start making oxygen. Power use is none. Power wasted, none. Calorie generation. A deficit on that. Stress stress has gone up. We've moved stress. Oh, just decreased stress. No, that's okay. Lots of travelling, lots of idle time, and a sip of tea. Okay. So what am I missing here? Copper ore, we have plenty. Electrical wire. Oh, 
Oh, you have to do that. There we go. That's what it is. You have to drag. Click and drag. Okay, let's speed up the night time. Oh, look, they're all sleeping on the floor. <laughs> so cute. Look at them. Okay, they're back. They're wanting food. I bet this thing needs water, doesn't it? Mush bar. Lice loaf. What? Putrefied mud slop. Preferable to starvation, but only just barely. Let's just pause this a second and have a look. Ingredients, dirt, bottled water. Plus 1,000 calories may cause diarrhea. Oh. Lice loaf. Meal lice compact into dense immobile loaf. Ah, uh, immobile. <laughs> it's not going to crawl away. Oh. So it needs meal lice, bottled water. I don't know whether we've got any meal lice. I don't think we have. So what does that need? Water. Let's queue that up. Insufficient oxygen generation. Okay, well, there's no point you working on there, is there? You can store some power. Where can we get water from? I mean, we've got water down here. I think we need to dig out. Okay, I'm going to just try and carefully plan what we're doing here. Let's dig that out. What is this? Abyssalite. Okay, and then we're going to build ladder. There we go. I think once they've done these, they will go down and do those. I really hope. What's that not connected up there? Oh, it needs water, doesn't it? Oh, do we need set up plumbing or something for that? No, that's the outhouse, so maybe we don't. It says they, they will go and collect water. Hungry and needing the toilet. <laughs> yeah, we're not looking at you. I'm looking at saw back. We need to empty this sometimes as well. So let's have a look. Wasn't there? Oh, that's Elvis. I'm looking at Elvis instead of the building. Clean the toilets. Requires no piping. Reduces stress. Must be emptied periodically. Okay. Well, you're eating, so that's fine. Will you climb on the ladder and build the ladders below? Hopefully you will. Yes, look, they've changed colour. Excellent, that's good. Um, let's have a look. Power, electrical wire. That is still collected up. So it is literally just water. So there's water here trickling away. But I'm wondering whether if we put ladders down over here, whether they'll go and get it. Yep, there we go. Oh, I see. Look, as they got nearer there, it's now... Showing where they can get to. I bet now if we pick one of these guys. Nope. You. Come here. Yep. Show navigation. There we go. Look, it shows where they can and can't get to. Excellent. Yeah, we know we're waiting for that. Insufficient oxygen. Oh, grief. Yeah, we need to... Comes idle. Does it need any power? Oxygen, heat, decor, power requirements. Yes. We can fit that in here. Will that go in there and hook up with the power that we've already got? Hopefully it will. How long till another person? 1.3 cycles. Hey, this is going all right, isn't it? This is going all right. Let's have a look at this. Oh, yeah. Not very breathable down here. It's not too bad. That water's basically all sunk to the bottom here. There's tons of it. Skill increase. Okay, let's read some of these messages. Who's had a skill increase? Elvis. Apparently he's holding his breath at the moment to work there. Stats. I don't know what skill he's had an increase in. Digging, probably. Doesn't say on there. Insufficient resources yet. Okay, well, we're working on that. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, is that already built? Can I move it? No, I can't. I was going to put that down there instead. Hmm, yeah. Okay, we've got it here now. Let's leave it here. We're learning as we go. So, yep, that's already constructed. So what does that need? Insufficient resources, algae. Oh, that oxalite's gone. Look. Coal fertilizer. Algae. Look, there's some algae over there. There. Is that algae? There's a ton of algae in here. Let's grab all of that. There we go. Hopefully we can get all of those. Yeah. 
Oh, what's the matter, Cecil? Saw back. Details. He's like leaning over. Or is he working on this machine? Oh, he's making the mush bars. Oh, look at that. That's hilarious. Look at them. Running like mad on there, producing the power. I love it. Here we go. Algie's coming in. How's the storage? Storage is going good. I see now how you could really... Oh, what's he think of the mush bar? Elvis eating a mush bar. I don't know. He's not complaining, is he? So have they gone down here to get water? I don't know. Let's put another ladder here. It said they could reach two squares. Well, there's water there. This one's still saying... Oh, that was the algae insufficient. This was the one that needed the water. Yes, 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 yes. We've got that. That's fine. Yep, good, good. Oh, that looks disgusting, doesn't it? There's another one. Mush bar. Oh. So where do we get meal lice from? Which which is better? Michael's diary. That's dirt and water. That's meal lice. I mean, do I fabricate one of those? Let's see what it says when it gets there. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they are. Look, they can reach the water now. Well, we can cancel that, can't we? Let's not bother with that. Whoop. What was that? Oh, he was just coming to build it, was he? <laughs> Sandstone wall. Oh, millworm seed. Muck roots. Oh, I wonder if we can set up farms by the look of it as well. No way. So what have we got here? Sand, sandstone. We've got coal. Fertilizer. So can I plant something on there? Um, harvest. Decor furniture. Oh, there's so many different things to look at here, isn't there? Decor. Oh, yeah. Do they need... Increased decor opinion reduces duplicate stress. Tasteful memorial. Reduces the spread of disease and stress caused by dead duplicates. Oh, okay. We've had nobody die. So hopefully we're okay. Can we do this? What's that going to take? Sandstone. Do we have a lot of sandstone? Yep, we've got tons of sandstone. Let's put a flower vase in there. So they're going to walk past that every time they go backwards and forwards. <laughs> Look at them. He even looks ill working on the machine, doesn't he? It's like, oh, I love it. Like a hamster in a wheel. That is fantastic. So they're getting the water. They're making the food. We've got another duplicate. By the time they wake up tomorrow, we'll have another duplicate. Storing 17 out of 150 kilograms, so that's fine. So that's good. We do need another one. There's some more fertilizer. We can dig that out. Oh, there's only one block under there. Does that mean... If that was what happened here, does that mean that's going to be a problem? We do have a tile. Used as a wall and floor tile to build room. Duplicate find these tiles easier on the feet seas than jagged rock. Are they going to build those there? What do these take? Sandstone. So are they going to replace what's under here? Oh, let's see what happens here. Whether they are going to actually do that or not. Or whether that's not possible. Oh, we've got the power. It's full up with power. Excellent. We've got algae. Oh, we've got it all going on. This is good. So what have we got in here? We've got oxygen in there. So we could expand this one over to chlorine. Oh, a morb. What the heck is that? I'm assuming he can't get out. Oh, anything else opened up that we haven't seen before? Oh, what's this? Millwood. Ah, copper. Oh, it's a copper ore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so these poor guys in here. Oh, they are. Look, they're changing the floor out. Nice. Oh, what does that need? No seed selected. Why a seed? Is that? Do we? I don't think we have any seeds, do we? Um. No, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay. We need to find some seeds. Well, I suppose we'll get some seeds at some point. Let's keep these guys working. Let's go all the way to here. Cycle 2 report ready. They're going to bed. Oh, do they need beds or anything like that? 
Oh man, there's so much stuff to build, isn't there? Pneumatic door. We need to start building rooms. That would be good, wouldn't it? Insufficient resources. We'll read that report in a minute. Meal lice. Okay, yeah, we're going to cancel that one. Let's just fill that up with mush bars. We'll keep that going. Let's look at our cycle two report. It's gone. All reports. Here we go. Previous cycle two yesterday. Oxygen added. A net loss of oxygen still. Calories a plus. Power a plus. Oh, power usage wasted a little bit. Okay. Stress got better. So that was good. Nobody stressed out. Travel time. Good. They're keeping busy. Skill increases five. Nice. That is good. I'm pleased about that. Excellent. Well, they're going to dig this hole out over here. Guys, I'm sure you're loving this game as much as me. If you are, leave us a big thumbs up. I'm going to just go straight on and record some more. I'm trying to backlog a load of stuff for while I'm away, and this is perfect. So you're going to get loads of these episodes over the next few days. Leave me some comments below. I'll still be reading those while I'm away. I want to see what you think. If there's any little tool tips and things I've missed, let me know. I would like to know. And I will see you very soon for the next episode. Don't forget, the big B with the tea stain will subscribe you to my channel as well. I forgot to say that. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.